that I was referring to before. <laughs> Here's how it works. They send out a signal with their mouth, but when they do that, they have to close a, a flap in each ear or else they would make themselves deaf because it's so loud. Huh? So they close the flap, the sound goes out, the sound bounces off a tree or a mosquito or whatever happens to be out there, comes back, they have to open the flaps and get the signal. So far so good, right? Except that whole cycle takes place 20 times every second. So if you look at your watch and a second goes by, they've done that 20 times. That's just when they're flying around. Now, when they start honing in on something they want to eat, like say a June bug or a mosquito, <coughs> that number jumps to 200 times every second. Closing the flap, sending out the signal, the signal comes back, the ears open, get the signal, they close again for the next signal to go out. 200 times every second. It's amazing. And it's also where our United States Navy got the idea for sonar, where ships can find each other miles and miles away through the ocean. Too far away to see that they can send signals out. The same idea, they get the signals bouncing back about that stuff. We can't do that. It's a really cool adaptation that only bats have. And, <coughs> so she doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> Warmer. What? 